Lines around here. Got it? Yes, sir. La 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 la. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ahem. Go away. I'm busy. You want to rev up your Harley? Vroom, vroom! <laughs> Face it, Harl. This stinks. You were certified not so wanted in 12 states and hopelessly in love with a psychopathic clown. The first step is to cover up the eyebrows. My plan was to use washable glue stick, but the one I had was the wrong one, so I had to come up with another way to cover up the brows. I used hair wax and brushed the hair upwards with a mascara brush, leaving the hair sleek on the skin. Then I started to dab on concealer and then on with the white face paint. Then I painted the entire face white using Meron's Paradise palette and I also added white to the rest of the skin that was exposed. When the paint dried I also added some orange eyeshadow onto the eyebrows to neutralize the blue undertones that came when I used white. I painted on layers of white until I was happy. This would have worked better if I had the right glue, but this had to do anyway. I found it the easiest to use a foundation brush with this paint. To add more dimension to the face, I'm contouring it with a grayish brown eyeshadow. I want the face to look really rough and almost sickly, like what we've seen so far of Jared Leto's Joker. I contour the cheeks, jawline, the chin, nose and forehead and also the brow bone and crease. Moving on to the eye makeup, I use a reddish brown eyeshadow and shade the eyelids and underneath the eyes. This doesn't need to be perfect, I think it looks way better if you just smudge it all on rather than having a perfect blend. Then I'm blending a grayish black eyeshadow over the red and I dab a black eyeshadow on top of that.
The Joker has some kind of cut marks or scars over his face. I don't know if it's just in one part of the movie or if he always has them, but I decided to add this to the look anyway. I'm using Meron's Bruce Pro color ring and mixing the bloody rose and burnt maroon shades to achieve this color. And I'm creating thin cuts across the face using an angled brush. Then I'm painting his face tattoos. I don't know how many tattoos the Joker has, but I'm doing the letter J that he's got on his left cheek and I'm also doing the damage tattoo on his forehead. And I'm sorry that I didn't get a good shot while painting this. the lips I added a red matte lipstick and I used a darker red lip pencil on top. Then I'm just going over parts where I feel needs more shading and touch-ups. When I'm done with the face, I'm starting to paint the tattoos. He has a jester skull on his right chest and has a lot of hahas on the left side. He has the ace of spades on his left side of his neck as well. We were really tight on schedule during this video, so I didn't have the time to paint the tattoos as accurate as it is in the pictures. I also added the smiling mouth to his right forearm and more hahas on his left forearm. He does have more tattoos, but like I said, unfortunately we didn't have the time for more recording that day, but we had such a fun time and I'm so happy how it all turned out. If you're cosplaying this or just want to go all in in general, you could go for silver grills on both top and bottom teeth, but I went the cheaper way and for this footage I took some pieces of aluminium foil and folded them onto the teeth. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and I have to thank my own Mr. J for doing this for me and my dear friend Magda for recording. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time! Thank <laughs> you.